Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the part five of building a React portfolio. So in this video, I'm going to be basically just like this code that we did in the last video. I'm just going to put it in a more dynamic way, almost just like with React stuff. So because as you can see in the, in the last video, I was just doing this like with basic and plain HTML. So we are going in here and if I'm going to show you this part in here, look at each one of these individual icons, like these services that I'm putting in here. So basically they are almost the same. You just change like the, the icon, the title and the description and they are all the same. So we can actually do this in React by creating a new class just for it. So let me just go in here and tidy this one up a little bit. Let me save. Let's see if it's still running fine. All good. So we can actually now create a new class. So let me just copy this one up and we are going to create a new class in here. Uh, we need our render and return as usual. Yeah, as you guys already know this. So I'm going to put a return in here and I'm going to close my render. OK, and now I'm actually going to create a, a new constant in here, which will have our icons. Um, I'm just going to put in here. My class is going to be called icons and I'm going to put in here uh, my const is going to call icon OBG like obg like for object okay and this is going to be equal to uh i'm going to put it as an array of objects so in here i'm going to put one object and i'm going to put another object in here look how i'm separating each object with a comma okay so i'm going to have to put four so i'm going to put in here four empty objects okay and as you can see in here in the beginning, I'm just creating an array. So first of all, let me just get this one out so you guys understand. I'm creating an empty array const icon object. So this is where we will put, oh, it's not showing up at the moment because uh, we, we need to finish this one up, where I'm going to put all these icons that we were putting in here before, okay? So I'm just going to put in here one empty object, another empty object, another empty object and another one. So it's like four of them and they need to have a comma separating each one of them. On the last one, you don't need to put any comma. OK, and the first thing that I need to put in here, um, I'm going to put in here maybe icon. So icon is going to be equal to. Uh, so I'm going to put something like this. Uh, maybe this one. OK, and I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to put a title. The title is going to be responsive. So responsive comma and then I'm going to put the description and the description is going to be this one. OK. So I'm going to put this description and then this one I need to put between this one okay so we got our first object in here declarate dec declared <laughs> not declarated uh, declared so we got this one in here okay so we did this for this one so let's just see if this is going to work um, so what what we can put in here um, OK, so the this is what I need to put a div just like this, because this is repeating like four times, like I said. So I'm going to put this inside of the new class that I'm creating for the icons. And let me just adjust this a little bit better. OK, so this is fine in here now. I'm going to put whatever we have in there. So 
it's going to be... Uh, ah, because we need to repeat this many times, so the best thing that we can do is... Uh, yeah, let me just copy this one up, first of all, so we don't lose anything. Let me just copy this one up, like... So we don't lose, basically, the, um, the content, okay? So this is the first one is done. Let's copy the second one in here. So we got the second one. Um, this was the brush and we're gonna put the redesign. Okay, redesign, where is it? Uh, second one and then this one in here. So second one. Now let's go for the third one, which is this one in here. Let's copy this one. We need the title, favorite. Favorite, and we need this one as well. Um, in here. And finally, the last one is this one in here. So for the fourth one, let's copy this one here. Let's copy this one question. And this one, the final description. Okay, so we got all of these in here, all of these that we have before in a, in a array of objects. Now I'm going to actually just get rid of all of these divs that we have in here, okay? Look, now it's completely empty, but we have this one in here, okay? So I'm going to pass these icons in here. Icons, okay? Uh, so I'm just passing one, one of them, okay? And I'm going to say in here that, um, for example, the icon is going to be equals to icon, icon obg. Uh, I actually don't have to put this between uh, quotes because this is a variable. And the icon is going to be icon dot icon, whatever we have in here. All right, and so icon is going to be equals to that, and I'm going to put the title is going to be equals to icon obg dot title. L look, this these properties that we are passing in here to these new components that we created, they don't have to be the same like icon icon. You could put, uh, for example, uh, uh, just so you guys don't. Uh, confuse my icon and I could put in here my title you can give it whatever you want you know and and then we are I'm saying that my uh, icon is going to be equals to my icon obg uh, I need to actually put in here dot zero uh, between brackets zero because this is the first uh, object of the array so of icon obg zero dot icon so we're going to get this part and then for the my title i'm going to put icon obg zero dot title is going to be this one and i'm going to put in here my this my description is going to be equals to and i'm going to put in here the same thing icon obg and it's going to be description okay we got all of these and now we just need to pass these values in here these dot props dot whatever we put in here my icon okay my icon and in here for the title i'm going to put between these curly braces these dot props dot and in here I put my title okay my title 
and in here is going to be the same but with my description my description ah there's something in here that we need to put if we are putting this one as an um, we are passing the properties in here from these um, class components we are passing a property to a variable we need to put these curly braces as well I was almost forgetting about this okay so let me just put this one like this and again and let's see how does it look like so we got uh, we got a small error around here so we got icons icon obg let's see what's wrong in here ah maybe maybe we can just like remove this this one's in here these quotes because this is going to be like a html element not a string and look look what we have in here i can just get rid of this one we got this one responsive looks great on any screen size all right so we got our first one with this class that we just created let me just tidy this one up so it looks a little bit better um okay now i'm gonna just copy this one up i'm gonna actually just put this one in here uh i'm gonna copy it and now i'm gonna put the second one is gonna be to the icon object one so this is the zero in this the zero index and this is the first index so i'm going to put icons my icon equals to icon object one dot icon so we're going to get this one and i'm going to do the same for the title and for the description okay and if we go in here now uh all ah, right we still have the same problem in all the rest of the other ones so let's just clean oops Let's just clean this a little bit, take these quotes out. And there it is, the second one. And let's do the same in here and the same in here. So it's going to be the second, second and second. And in here is going to be the third and the third. So in here it starts with a zero index first index second index third index this is like a normal uh, index for a race um and that's it so basically let's go in here and see uh ah this one is still not working completely fine because where is it this is the description um hmm, so i don't really know what's going on in here so I'm just going to leave this one out for now so we don't just like lose lots of time in this. Um, but I'll definitely have to go and have a look on this. So I'm just going to leave these millions of users uh, love start bootstrap. OK, so this should be fine. Uh, I don't need actually this. And if we go in here. There it is, responsive, redesign, favorites, question, and, and as you guys can see, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over like the, the steps that I did once again. So basically all this HTML that we had in here from before, uh, we just like transformed it into a new class component. So we had in there like lots of these divs, spans with these titles uh, so we just created one class component and then we are going to use it like several times as much as we want and in here we are saying in here that uh, first of all the icon is going to be passed to the these.props.myicon so whenever you pass this component in here that we are creating and you give it a value for the my icon this is a value that you can you a name that you can give whatever you want okay uh, i'm going in here for example this one that i'm creating 
icons, okay, this class component that we just created. And I'm going to say that this property, my icon, that I just made up the name, is going to be equals to this value. And this value is the icon object, the first one. So this one that we just created. And I'm going to say that is going to be equals to the dot icon. So the dot icon is going to be this one. So this is what we get in here, this first phone, okay? And then for the my title, I'm going to say that equals to the icon object. This is the icon object array that we created. And it's going to be in the first index. So this is the first index, guys, okay, all of these. And it's going to be equals to the dot title to this equals to this value of this property. So it's going to say responsive, look, responsive. And the description looks great on any uh, device. So it's going to be my description equals to oak icon obg zero description. Okay, and that's it. It's the same for all of them. So now we just need to copy this one and just repeat it like four times, but is in a much more clean and elegant way. And this is how you should do things with React, not put in here like plain HTML like we had before. And I hope you guys can, can just like make the, the difference now between one and the other. And that's it. So uh, in the next video, I'm going to actually go through the recent projects, this part in here. Um, and I'm going to cover like states, like things like we are hovering with the mouse or clicking or something. Uh, how you can handle things like these uh, in uh, in React. Okay, so I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, click the notification bell to know when I'm going to upload any video. And that's it. I'm going to see you in the next video, guys.